Wine Tip Tuesday. Saucy Sis One here to give you a simple answer to kind of a geeky question. And that question is, what is the difference between a wine's aroma and its bouquet? I know what you're thinking. Who knew there was a difference between aroma and bouquet? Well, only a real wine snob is going to call you out for using the wrong term at a wine tasting when you're swirling your wine and putting your nose in the glass. But here's the lowdown. A wine's aroma comes from the grapes themselves, the different varieties of grapes. Of course, you may not recognize the aromas as grapes, but you will recognize them as fruits, flowers, and herbs. So with fruits, you may, you may recognize a citrusy smell from a white wine and maybe a dark cherry smell from a red wine. And with flowers, maybe you'll recognize a rose in a Caverse Dreamer or a violet in a Merlot. And there are a whole set of herbs that you might recognize, uh, oregano and mint and, and rosemary. But basically, the aromas come from the fruit itself, from the grapes, and you'll recognize them as these. So, what about bouquet? Well, bouquets come from what happens to the grapes after they're crushed, when they're turned into wine. And that is during fermentation and aging. Now, the fermentation aromas you might detect are beer, aged cheese, like this Parmesan, butter, particularly for those of you who enjoy a buttery Chardonnay, and yeast. When it comes to aging, you may detect vanilla, um, and that very often comes from aging in oak barrels, or spices like cloves or allspice, brown sugar, and nuts like walnuts um, or hazelnuts. Um, but that's it. Bottom line is, if it's an aroma, you will detect flowers, fruit, and herbs. Everything else is a bouquet. <laughs> and with that little wine trivia, I'm sure you'll be able to impress the biggest wine snobs you encounter at a wine tasting. Cheers!